everybody, Invisible Katane here, back again with Back to the Future of the Game. Uh, this episode is coming out a little bit late because uh, I didn't actually end up going back into this. Um, I actually ended up being super curious about Outlast, which ultimately led me to the end of that game. Uh, the end of it, because I realized like my, my voice completely dipped out. The end of it, that wasn't a mic thing, that was just a body thing. So, we're back in the game. Um, I'm doing something weird with the camera. This time I got like autofocus going because I normally hate autofocus So I'm giving it a shot and seeing what it'll do. It kind of caps it out at 30 frames per second But I'll still make the video at 60 frames per second because the game will be that and the video will be like this big uh, With me in the corner So you're back at it uh, I knew I was supposed to do something with the statues like I was supposed to like pull it down and move it over you can reach parts of the statue, swing the mobile around until you're blocking the camera. So. I doubt he's going to be able to stand on the book, or the guitar, or any of this stuff. So, let me move this bit over here. So, I don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing right here, because I know, like I said, it's obviously the hints are right there but I still don't really know what to do here I'm run around so it gives you every option so you know, sign man, Lorraine, statue, black when you look at the statue it just says different random things oh or not okay that's weird Okay then. Mom? That was weird. I did do that, right? Like, that was the third time I looked at it. So, Mom, please. that's interesting. You yeah, just, third time's the charm for the deal. Oh, damn it, Dad. What? Cut what? Oh. out. Mom? Mom? Huh? Mom? Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, I, I gotta do it like all the way around. Hey, is that? No. Okay. <laughs> George! Sorry, just pretend I'm not here. How can I do that when I can hear you looming over me? Shut up, bah, bah, bah. I'm not looming. I'm looking out for you. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> I'm like, um... Is he about to literally uh, go... What happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. So I gotta take a drink. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I. Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> if there are actually people in this oh, town, she might be causing sweetheart. a scene. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. And so we take the flash. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Alright, let's go with Rain's flask. This seems like the most e easy, the most obvious option. Wow, I don't know why I kept saying easiest. Also, what the heck just happened? Why did it disappear? Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, there we go. what seems to be the problem here? Edna. Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? 
Is he being <laughs> smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him. Demerit. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. I hope that's not an actual incinerator. No. Keep your nose clean. <laughs> Depending on how compact it is. I mean, it's Brown. just a flask, but... You know, you, you put some flames inside of an enclosed space and Fly. the heat can't really expand like it needs to. Kaboom. Shrapnel, so... Hey, I don't Jim, think that'll come into play, but I'm just saying with that, me? that could easily yeah. happen. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is going to be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. <laughs> it's weird that he's Marty. Like, look at his arm, Marty. like how he's What's moving and she's standing agenda? still. Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. No. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. <laughs> Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Then yes. I forgot his middle name we was Seamus. We have a for your detention. 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 You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Dang. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak cool. moral character. Cool. <laughs> she was going to do it just like that. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry. We're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen mm. Plus program took care of Biff. Perhaps the program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so about I do time. have to wonder. I, I doubt it because it's just... How they do I it. always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. I do wonder though, will there be a time in this at all throughout these five episodes where someone's like, "Holy crap, you were that guy from 19 whenever or you know whatever random year he just jumped in in the future?" It'd be like, "Oh crap, it's you from the past." Like, will that happen at all in this, or is it just going to be like the movies where it's not relevant? Because I mentioned before in the last episode that they certainly had that in, in the original uh, ending for the first movie where Martin George McFly, looks at a picture and he's like, eh, can't be. President of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, President of Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship. It's like the Strickland farming College, picture. Winner of the Cornell uh, Challenge to Portland Award. Strickland College. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious Stop. question, Mr. McFly, Hooligan, is, as Edna likes to say, what happened to you? Those white gloves. Uh... Jesus Christ, Doc. What happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's hmm. a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Hmm. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. Oh. Okay. Uh... This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. I admittedly didn't it's think that that was going to make a difference. I thought it would just be like, too bad, and Dad's then he'd ask turned anyway. Into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic, and Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this is really like nice more about chair. me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. Cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. <laughs> Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? What? Uh... Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. 
Okay, it didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Well, I didn't think he'd be going into yeah, all these extra details. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. DeLorean. Why? Hmm. Because... Why? Well, just for the <laughs> hell of it, I guess. <laughs> Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know, it was important for some reason. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, yes, so it is fascinating. Know. It's it's amazing. It's Science. incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. you got to believe me. And this Ooh. is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Okay, so this... Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. It's been said before, so I will go with yes on no, that one. No, I, I mean, yes. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. It like just would my have mom switched and my dad. Machine. It was only yes, thanks to I mean, your no. time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think, think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. Okay. This case is more serious than I'd imagine. Oh. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Uh. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. This is the interesting. Is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. He's not like super. <laughs> or, uh, um. Uh. Well, to err uh, is human. Err. Uh. Take your time. <laughs> Look around the room. Perhaps oh, something okay. here will stimulate your map. Your memory. Did he just say mem and then say mem means, means memory? Interesting. Okay, so I admittedly was not expecting him to try to actually utilize the fact that he went back in time to you know the 1930s and met him when he was young. And I was like, holy crap, because I was just talking about it because it, it never really comes up. But So that's what Judge Brown looked like. <laughs> I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Mm. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively mm. detailed illusion. Hmm. Keep talking. Uh. So, okay, so I got some guesses now because I'm throwing out some real clear facts at this point. Like, you had a ridiculously detailed argument with your father that the only person who would know about that is Sonny Crockett or whoever, whatever name they're going to randomly give me since it clearly wasn't uh, making any difference Jeez, to the names that I chose. sure has a lot of files. Hmm. Look at her eyes in that picture. I'll just Evil. focus on what's out on display. Evil... Oh, I can actually go to the picture, just the fish tank. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I, uh... See? Bizarre fantasy. See, like he knows, like he should know what I'm talking about. So something's up. Like, he's being controlled just like everyone else. I didn't mean to go to the monitors, but I let him do his super, super laundry walk. I didn't realize Doc was actually following It's all the same stuff around. we saw on my dad's monitors, I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Okay, I want to go to the different clock. Something about that clock looks familiar. Pretty sure that's the... A smaller version. That's what I meant to go to, is the clock window. Wow. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it, yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh-oh. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? Hmm, spidey senses are starting to tingle. Ah, the movie ticket. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. 
a memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see the virtuous husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Hmm. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My dolly wife is all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my mm. successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Alright, so we got a photo of Einstein. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but mm. naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Stop trying Things to are confuse to get me! Weird. Oh, yeah, here My we whole go. life has been dedicated <clears throat> to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I, I, wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. Mm. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitan. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific views are the love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. Sorry, I'm leaning in because I'm in the see background. What I see. Well, Marty's in the background. What do you see? Epically, that's... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was about to say, uh-oh, we're paused. We're frozen. This. Oh, look at his head. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, his head was following me. He was stuck. Oh, see, look at him. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with him. Or I really screw the game up. See, we're just right in the background, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. I think it is. What? It's me and you, the other you. Single-handedly, you don't forget that, and okay? You. Like, seriously. But how? You made a rocket Sonny? ship. Period. You just don't forget. So he's not indoctrinated. It's like, no, it's he's science. Just, Your okay. science, Doc. Because he just really In didn't want to believe it. Other world. The one you say you come from. Ooh. Am I? Am I happy there? Very oh, happy. Here comes Edna. You've got two great sons. Sons. Yes, Jules and a and fantastic Bern. wife. Not Edna. Not even remotely. Clara Clayton. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Mm. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Here we go. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. Hmm. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Okay. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. 
I've got a city to run. Okay. Fine. So but I'll be back with proof. Hmm. She's gonna obviously try to stop me. So Doc is turning a blind eye to what he believes is madness, although he kind of just got a big clue and he believed it for like half a second. But I guess I threw out the miserable thing, and it's almost like he went into a Hulk rage. Like, ah, I don't, you know, everything, all the logic just went out the window again. So Doc wants proof oh, that he'll value music turns super fast. It scares me. It is one smoking gun coming up. So whoa. Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh, whoa, 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 take it easy. Sit here. Hmm. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. <laughs> Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here hmm. somewhere. All right, well, let's check the bat first. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Mm. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? Mm. What's the last thing you remember? I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene. It's not Lorraine, is it? That would be interesting. Tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Hmm. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Let's give it a little. Okay, empty tape case. That one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm sure some maybe we won't find the actual case, but there'll be another clue inside of here. Whoops. Here it is. Raw footage. Oh, okay. Thank heavens. When it Wait said tape case, See, I thought I it specifically you, meant one single uh, All these dark tape suspicions case. about thieves and attackers when all the time it was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head oh. and took him. Oh my gosh, it's I've not gonna mugged. be Biff. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh, mm. don't worry, Dad. It could we'll potentially get to the be Lorraine. That would be a nice little twist. Who could have done this to me? I thought it would be. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't think it was her because of the strength, but. Hmm. Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? Everybody was bad mouth Citizen Brown when they didn't know a camera was on it, but that's half the people in town. No, I'm guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's go. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Ooh. Six months? Jesus. But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. I thought he was going to say, like, uh, a few hours I mean or something. Is... It would just take a long time. Uh... I got to give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. Mm. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. Mm. You've been Shouldn't breaking have said that. rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well... History's changed. Prove it. Okay, so... Bat for evidence. George monitors, just to see what he says about the monitors. Oh. Yeah, all the same the monitor's stuff. dead. That didn't even finish. I didn't the even do that. monitor's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even doing that one. The monitor's dead. Interesting. They didn't, they didn't let that audio finish out. So... 
nothing at the house. Get out of here. Uh, so if we... I gotta find that videotape. Okay, so it is still here. Alright then. Admittedly, I was not expecting that at all. So we'll look for some more clues. I'm sure no one went into the house because that wouldn't make a lot of sense. With the bat, floppy disk. Ingrid, sweet. Ah, the movie was better though. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm. I'm telling you the truth, Dad. I've been breaking rules all over town. You'll have to convince me. Oh. Duh. Read him and weep. The merits, but it was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but mm. his hill valleys just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. <laughs> no, wait. I, I got him to listen, thing. Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes, to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... <laughs> can't handle that kind of pressure. Uh... Arthur McFly. Uh... I'm just curious what he's gonna say. Father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tan and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Hmm. Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. <laughs> Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Okay. If I remember right, it was... Uh, oh, I can't... Oh, there it is. Yep. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Well, that's definitely the one, but it wasn't. I think it was on us because of when I did it in the last episode when I was just pushing all the buttons and I left it on them. So that's why when I hit the button, it showed us. I feel like I missed something here. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's supposed to be on the yard. And all of these. I don't think this monitor is hooked up to the camera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Unless there's another one. I don't think Unless this monitor is hooked up hmm. to the camera. Takes a minute for that to uh, actually go off. I feel like I missed something here. Super confused right now. I feel like I missed. I feel like I. Hello. Hello. Okay. okay. There. That looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it was Biff? Biff? Wow. But it can't be him. The Citizens, Citizens Plus, Plus program failed. has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. <laughs> huh? Interesting. I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. Uh, 
a zoom in his hands. It's okay. his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? Zoom in, enhance. X11. You know what that means? Not hmm. yet. That must Ready. be like Edna's into me, George. super secret word. Did very she not have pupils? To say. Just and now? then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? <laughs> you can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. He you just left. He's like, oh, I don't start. have, I don't fucking care. That's right. You <laughs> two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your information. I love that. He's just like, oh, whatever. I gotta just get the fuck out of here. Okay, so Biff is off, but it's not actually Biff. It's most likely Edna with her super secret big brother or big sister program Biff. where she's controlling people Whoa, down unintentionally. There, you beat up well, my she's intentional. The people being controlled are we doing it unintentionally. Here, no, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Yeah, let's. Do, 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 do. I don't know why they have it like this. I have to push the button down before it'll turn yellow. Why'd you and hurt my dad, Ben? Before it'll let never me select did anything it. anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. Hmm. <laughs> it's definitely under some sort of weird See? 1980s mind control. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, mm. I don't remember. What's the last thing you, you remember weirder, before weirder. your memory loss? Well... I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came I by. I knew he was going to say Edna, Edna showed up. Yeah. That's, it's her. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic, diagnostic yeah. on my Citizen Plus watch. Mm. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. So the I just last got too thing you remember questions. before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Hmm. Biff, your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, hmm. I could barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? I've got a few more okay. questions, Biff. <laughs> All right, Martin. Whoa. Okay. I just got to uh, here, Biff. Uh, no problem, Marty. I want to get to the bottom of this too. What? What? Well, okay. We're we'll just. I am. Oh, wait. Cool! Ah. X. You know what? I shouldn't do this because I actually want to. I've got a few more questions. I actually want to Biff. talk to him before I do right, that because it, it's being real weird. What was my mom doing here? Oh, she was just handing over her paperwork for the Citizen Plus program. What? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, Martin, but your mom's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, but to sign up for Citizen Plus. Hmm. She was on the fence for a while, too. But after you took the blame for her secret mm. drinking problem, she realized she needed well, serious help. So much. Oh, no. Mom. What'd you do with my dad's secret videotape? Secret videotape? You know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin. But that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. Hmm. 
So you really don't know anything about my dad's so we'll secret tape. Set him oh, off no. and then. I never walk around with subversive who, who material like that. that. Right. Biff, your watch. Oh, perfect, dude. Wait. There we are. Biff? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's weird. What's wrong with you? Okay. You attacked my dad? And now we're getting somewhere. Why'd you attack my dad? Wow. Don't know. You must have been hypnotized. Who put you up to this? Okay, Guess that'll have to wait until after either. I get the tape. Uh, well, Where's my dad's tape? tape? Uh, ah. The decycling bin? Yeah. Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? <laughs> Is that McFly kid bothering you? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. Hey, you can't go in there. <laughs> He's almost got like um like the Frankenstein's monster thing going. Oh. Oh. I guess it's not an incinerator. Uh. Holy smokes! What what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Sweet. Gosh, man. Did I do something oh, that's wrong? That's not too crazy. Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first citizen plus. Girly magazine. What on earth possessed you to assault a police mm. officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. Oh, man. The last thing I remember, uh -oh. I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. The, uh, okay. Bang. <laughs> they might not show it again, but there's a license plate that's the Back to the Future Lie. license plate behind it. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Dang. Okay, I'll point it out. Give me the tape, Sedna. Uh, here we go. Mr. Tannen. Please hey, restrain kids ice cream guests. thing is in the background. Okay. Uh, Dang. Fifth, stop. Girly magazine. Stop. Oh, Look no. at these boobies. <laughs> like showing the girly magazine to distract them. Okay, so um, the license plate that's the 6H96472, the one right behind that, that is the out of time license plate for the DeLorean. Let's see what that Edna, says. What are you doing? What I've always done. Keeping Hill Valley safe from hooligans, hooligans. like you and your father. Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Huh? Cannon! <laughs> Focus. Uh... <clears throat> It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly. With his theta amplified state, Mr. Tannen is more than a match for your youthful vigor. It's your favorite show. Damn. What would really <laughs> get Biff's attention down here? Uh, let's go with candy. Look, candy? No. He does like. Bo oh, dang. I oh, crap. I didn't think I could go like all the way around the room like this porn hey Einstein <laughs> doggy what's going on Biff Howard Tannen obey your programming I don't think uh, I knew how uh, you've seen <laughs> I don't Mr. think McFly. I knew Biff's name thanks was, to the uh, enhancements Howard. I've made to the Middle Citizen name. Plus program I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal okay let's... Look at all these unhappy faces on your father's videotape. 
Well, Citizen Plus will turn those frowns upside down in no time. Oh, it's teleporting now. Okay. I really just want to go through all these different things. I'm just curious. You never okay. had much of a sense of humor. <laughs> Again, yeah. Hey, it's Wild Gunman. Not a nice. fan of video games, huh? For anyone who may not hey, understand that reference, Wild there. Gunman is Marty's Beer. favorite game, and he Beer? is <laughs> Beer. Where am I? His, um, I didn't go behind my crack shot at Wild Gunman. Back so you could wallow in mm. your vices. Uh, oh. oh dear, Mr. Wilson, you have been a naughty boy. Just kill cigars and then. And just hit him with the ultimate cigars? in distractions. Cubans. Boobies. Oh, whoa. I didn't Penny, see that one coming. Listen to me. Uh, babes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't think that that would help with the distraction. Porn. Cigars, beer, what the BBC, fuck? which can also be a porn term. Mommy, <laughs> Tannin, get up, you useless slacker! Come I on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. They threw a slacker break? in there, nice. You sound like my wishy-washy husband, mm. always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe that's what that happens when you just you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tape so I can. You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Excuse Utopias me. are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as hmm. my husband's. No. No. I mean, no. Oh. Don, I was going to say, we still have the tape of Biff hitting George in the head. Like, we rewatched that because he has the tape on it then. Doc, you got to stop her. She... Silence! Okay. <laughs> I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine mm. my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all about? And smut the, is on the porn in the years, background. All our struggles trying to read it. society's illnesses just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch. Look how uninterested she is. She's like, oh, please, Emmett. Yeah. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember, if only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. Hmm. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Dang. Fine. Angry Emmett. Don't see that much. Angry adult Emmett, too. Yeah, we gotta change this fast. Doc. Ah! Father, <laughs> what have I done? Okay. I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Hmm. Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? Hmm. I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I mean, he had the movie scream, and it echoed inside of a basement with brick walls. Maybe. 
but maybe not. What? It was a heck of a scream. Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. Hmm. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Flux capacitor. Hmm. All right, this is an interesting way to get things back to normal. Martin, this, this could work! It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha-ha! <laughs> Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? Hmm. The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't Not say. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Don't worry, Biff. Once I get back to 1931, you'll be back to Jerkville in no time. I don't smoke, and I should really go get Einstein. Beer. Beer. Maybe I could. Mm, nah. Dak will need me clear headed to build his new time machine. I mean, I'm sure you can drink. <laughs> Another time pinball line, parts. All these nice. pinball parts would probably be in Libya by now. Porn. Whoa. <laughs> there is a serious lack of privacy in this town. Candy. Did I just find the one thing that hasn't changed in this timeline? What is it? <laughs> Why is there a I full wonder how many times Biff's parked under manure cabinet. in this timeline. Oh, that's a good one. There's a full arcade cabinet just wild locked gunman. up. Oh, nice of course it's wild Some gunman. things haven't changed in this messed up world. That, see, okay, so when he said video games, I thought there were like games in a box that I couldn't see. I didn't realize it was like the full giant um, arcade and everything. Specs, joy buzzers, trick gum, classic. Why would anyone ban these? Okay, so we are gonna get iron. So wait a minute. Oh, the old panic button. Wow, nice. That still works. Crazy. What? Oh, what up? Needles, stones, Phil Collins, Edna took all the good stuff. Hey, maybe I'll grab a couple for the road after I get <laughs> Einstein. Oh, wait. I want to do all this stuff just nice in boy. case. I should pick one up after I free Einstein. Just in case getting Einstein actually activates something else. I just want to be guns. Be sure. You'll shoot your eye out, Marty. I think everyone gets that reference, but if you don't, it's from a uh, Christmas story. I actually never saw the movie. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out but of here in no time. If you ever want to see it, just wait till Christmas and what is it, watch it on TV. Uh oh, Fly. TBS. Because it replays. Nice. Uh, it, re it replays all hey, freaking day. Biff. Every you Christmas. Okay? TBS. Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you so it's my fault. That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, oh, okay. she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Huh. Man. Okay. Panic button. Is that supposed to scare me or something? I thought it would distract him. Maybe it's like a flipper around the records. <laughs> Down, Biff. I'd stay. Okay, just just right. attack. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the oh, music. What? Face. What? It's face the music, you idiot. <laughs> uh, Einstein. 
Dude, help me out. Get him, Heine. That dog has the most nonchalant attacks ever. Oh. Jeez. Get him, Heine. What the heck? Oh, wait. I mean... Okay. I'm like, logistically speaking, if I bash his head in, he can't do jack. Giving this to any person would be an act of cruelty. So, I'm super confused. I just wait for him to walk over here, I guess, because... There it is. X11 puts Biff into a hypnotic and unbelievably a dumber state. <laughs> right, I didn't know that. Biff will let you finish it just so no. Where are their frisbees at? Okay. Get him, Miney! I mean, there probably won't actually be a frisbee. Oh, actually, I know what I should do. Okay, yeah, I, I, I have. I hope I don't run out of rock. What? Oh, wow, amazing. Uh, okay, that was weird. There's like no sound effects or anything. Get him, All right, so I guess I just did it too slow last time. I guess that was the whole point, and now it's kind of glitching out because the circle shouldn't still be on him. Whoops. It's not at all what I meant to do. Uh, Einstein. Sick him. There we go. Look, look at that. The red dots on up. And now, panic button. Do, do. Hit him on the head. Your knocks him out. What the? Bing. Nice. Let's get out of here, Einie. Cool. Okay, so I just did it way too slow the other time. I thought I got it, and then... Yeah, Red Dot's just, just Stop. sitting there. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and mm, jumped me. It's gonna be Edna. I totally laid him out with the old... Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Yeah, the music is super Where's intense. Doc? Oh. Dark. Oh. My husband. And then it instantly changes in the middle. Better place. What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. No. Oh. No. Okay, no. so that actually is from uh, A Clockwork Orange. That's the thing I was talking about before with the. Oh, that's the end of the episode. Crap. Well, that's the thing I was talking about with the eyeball stuff and like him being like stuck in the seat. That's a clockwork orange. All right, that is the end of the episode. Sadie, what'd you think? Sadie doesn't care about Back to the Future like I do, but that's cool. Whew. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Again. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Mm. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. Double vision. Hmm. All right, that was a good ending to the episode. I like this one because of how, you know, seriously dark it is. We're going back to the 1930s um, in the next episode, so that's interesting. I'm very curious how that's supposed to play out because, of course, with Doc um, being all locked up and everything, you know, what's the deal with that? So I'm assuming that he'll be locked up in the first part of it, but we'll be able to help him escape, and then we'll get him back in time, or well, we'll get Marty back in time, and then have to fix everything all over again but we can't go back even further. We have to go back in time to, I think what they say, August something or, or whatever. So whatever the date was, that's where we're gonna have to go. 
and then we're gonna have to find some way to convince Doc to not be with Edna. And even she's like, you know, it's insane how devoted he is. I mean, she knows that she has control over him already. And it's just like, man, I hate that woman now. So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. But for now, of course, you know, no better place to end it than the actual end of the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Of course, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. Um, I'm excited. We're getting into what episode four? So there are two more episodes. It's probably got like, may, considering how I play this game, probably got like four or five more episodes left of this. Um, but I'm excited to get into it. So, like I said, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below, and please join me in the next part.